Hey everyone, so a company called Gearbest sent me this Annette A8 3D printer so that I would make a build video on it. It's pretty inexpensive, so that's pretty cool. We'll see how well it works. Anyways, let's get building. Okay, so as far as the assembly goes, it's all finished. Uh, it wasn't too bad to put together. It took me longer than I was expecting, but um, I had to actually drill a few holes that were missing. So that was kind of strange because they're all laser cut pieces. It's weird that there'd be holes missing. Um, wiring's a bit of a mess. And I can't actually start it up because uh, they sent me the European plug, so I'll have to like harvest a, uh, I'll have to sacrifice a, an extension cord or get some wiring tomorrow to hook up to the power supply, and then we can print something. So, see you tomorrow. All right, got the cable. Let's hook it up. All right, let's hope for no magic smoke release. We have working. Let's find something to print. Okay, it is printing somehow. I didn't really, didn't level the bed very well. Uh, I just kind of went for it to see how it would go and I got a layer to seat, the first layer, so it seems good and it looks pretty good too. So I'm just printing a little calibration cube and because uh, that was the best thing I could think of. And hopefully the filament doesn't like get tangled up because I'm just going to leave it here. I got the GoPro going so we'll get a little time lapse as well. And then uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Here's the time lapse. All right, so that uh, first print failed. Naturally, of course. First print, yeah, right. Obviously, it's gonna fail. So I've just got the second one going. It's looking like it's going all right. It's almost done. Seven percent. impressive for a second print. Turned out really good. Surprised that it uh, worked so well on the second attempt. So there you have it. Uh, I'd say this is like extremely good value. 
can probably tune it up. I mean, I put no effort into this one, so I need to kind of tune up the bed and calibrate everything. But uh, yeah, if you're looking to know how a 3D printer works, building your own is probably a good place to start. So um, I was in no obligation to give this a good review or anything, but it wasn't too difficult to put together. It took about a day and you know a few fixes here or there but nothing major and like i said i think it's like 200 dollars canadian which is like what 100 dollars american i'm thinking of doing like um as a small series like 3d print of the week kind of thing looking for cool items on thingiverse and then printing them and maybe like sending them out to people patrons i don't know but that's it 3D printer's done. Hopefully I'll be able to incorporate it into a bunch of my future projects and uh, let me know in the comments about the idea that I said. Print of the week thing. Just quick little time lapses of prints and then I can send them off to people. I know I didn't design this but at least I built it so that's cool. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good night. Mm -hmm.